Hello and welcome to the Pickle Jar. My name is Josh and in today's video I'm going to show you how to paint tarnished bronze metal. Pickle Jar! Pickle Jar! Miniatures! Excellent! Hi guys and welcome back to another painting tutorial here on the Pickle Jar. Now all being well, Plenty of you guys will have picked up your Indomitus box today. If you're watching this in the future, then... And you will be excited to paint some of the new Necron models inside. Now, if you've been following the videos here on the Pickle Jar, you'll have seen the last couple of videos I've done have both been uh, on Necron Immortals. I did the full Let's Paint video and then I did a tutorial last week on how to paint the gauze rods. If you missed both of those, the links will be in the top right hand corner right about now. Now, here we've got another tutorial for you this week for the bronze armor look, the sort of tarnished, worn bronze look. There are new paints from Games Workshop which are supposed to help you achieve this look and I will have a full review and tutorial on all the new paints that they're releasing out in the next week or so. But for now, this is how I've been painting the bronze look on my own Immortals. Just want to say before we get started that if you are enjoying the content that we're putting out here on the Pickle Jar, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the videos. And if you're new, please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with all the content that we release in the future. With that shameless promotion out of the way, here we go with the tutorial. So here he is, this is uh, Terry the Immortal again. Uh, say hello, Terry. Hey up! And today he's having his armor painted. So the first step for painting the tarnished bronze armor is to give the entire model a coat of lead bell shirt. Now I'm just putting this on with a very heavy dry brush. You can paint it on with a normal brush if you want to, but this is the fastest way and doing it this way as well leaves the some of the areas in the primed black colour so that it adds some nice shadow and some slight colour variation later on once we apply further dry brushes and washers which adds to the sort of tarnished, unkept look. You can see I'm not being particularly precise, just making sure that the entirety of the model is covered in a silver dry brush. And that's what he looks like at this point. Once that is all on and dry, it's then time to start on the second layer of dry brushing, which is using a mix of Balthazar Gold and some of the lead belch that you've just had from the previous layer. You want to mix these together and then very, very lightly a very light dry brush go over all the panels. Now I tend to leave the edges in the original silver dry brush that you've just put on, but it's up to you, it's entirely up to you, depending on what sort of look you want to go for and how dark you want it to go with the bronze look. So all you do, like I said, is a very, very light dry brush and you want to put this on, maybe over a couple of coats, maybe don't rush it all at once, but just apply this to all the different panels and leave some of them showing the silver through, put it on thicker in some places so that there's plenty of different colour variations going on across the entirety of the model because again this helps to create that sort of unkept look where everything's a bit uneven and a bit sort of worn and, and old and forlorn. The final step is just to apply some Agrax Earthshade to certain areas just to darken them down slightly again to add some final changes in color now you don't really want to put in this on very heavy don't apply it like you would normally apply a wash this is going on very much as a shade putting it on very gradually like it's not really even picking up here on the camera to be fair but you want to apply it i'm applying it just to the very middle areas of each panel just to add in a darker section and then i'm going to add it into some of the little recessed areas just show the change between the silver, the light bronze, and then the darker bronze where the Agrax is. 
You can do this technique and then you can add your own weathering techniques if you want to add some rust. I've got a rust tutorial up on the channel if you want to know how to do that. You can add chipping, you can add whatever you want. But just using this technique that I've shown you today, this is what you end up with. And I really, really like the sort of worn metal bronze look that this gives. So there you go, guys. That is how I paint these tarnished bronze look on my Necron Immortals. Now, this is not the only place that I've used this look. I used the same technique on the Skaven that I painted in a live stream a few weeks ago and that is where I got the inspiration from to then use this technique on my Necron Immortals. I think it looks fantastic and it's nice and simple to do and should prove useful when it's trying to get a large amount of Necrons painted up which will be the foreseeable future for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you're new, please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with all the content released in the future. Don't forget you can catch us every Wednesday evening here on the Pickle Jar where we do a live stream. And you can help pick the model that we paint in that live stream by voting on the poll over on our Facebook page when that goes out every Monday, sometimes Tuesdays. You can also reach us on Twitter and Instagram. The links for all our social media accounts are down below in the description, as are the links for the Chilling Wargamers YouTube channel. I am a part of the Chilling Wargamers. The Pickle Jar are a part of the Chilling Wargamers network. We do a live stream every Thursday evening where we talk about different topics within the wargaming community, and they release new videos every week. So head on over there using the link and join us in one of our live streams. If you want to help support the channel, we have our very own merch store. Again, the link is down below in the description, where we sell t-shirts, hoodies, blankets, cushions, stickers, face masks, whatever you need, it's all there, and everything that we make from it goes back into the channel to help us continue to create content for you guys. That's all from me, and I'll see you next week with another video.